good day to you. We are all concerned about kids who take risk. And where does this come from? More you are on the Pixel screen, more your default mode network of thought changes. And your executive empathic decision making process shifts to thrill, peril, survival mode. I have done this talk a number of times. What you need to understand is that we operate in our decision making process from the prefrontal cortex, initiation, navigation. This is the prefrontal cortex, initiation, navigation, successful end conclusion, good reward motive. And then from that initial 40 minutes of thinking and doing with dopamine, working in our salient tracks of the brain to focus, then after 40 to 45 minutes, any hour, we get a chance to check back. So the reward motive comes from check back, self-check, how did I do it, how do I improve it, and that is how serotonin tracks work in the brain to complete our default mode network of thought with a sense of good reward, which is motivation for the next hour to do better even than this hour. This is called top-down regulation. But when a kid or anyone else is on the pixel screen for a long time with fast games and digital games, what happens is that we go off from our decision-making empathic, reflective, thought-out process with empathy, good for me, my future, my immediate future, my long-term future, good for those who love me, we go out of that and we have another track at the bottom of our brain called the bottom-up regulation, working through the amygdala, hippocampus and hypothalamus, which is important, which is an important track for survival. So if we are in danger, we hear an explosion, how we quickly adjust ourselves. If we uh, slip on a banana skin, how we quickly adjust ourselves. That is a necessary track for management of peril. But kids too much on the pixel screen uh, begins to shift to that bottom-up regulation because the smart screen is smart and the kid is only reacting to what he sees and he's revved up for just a reaction. So it's a reactive track of dyspathy, under danger, under peril, and the sounds, the kinesthesia, the visuals all pressing him with the adenocortisol arising into bottom-up regulation. So every time when he is studying, he gets stimulated from anything he sees, and often with earphones in his ear listening to some other music, and he's not remembering anything, and he's being pushed to perilous risk-taking behavior. Their language begins to change, and they're ready to take any, any risk. So we were tra taught paninta para sita balanu, but they get to sita nata para panala balamu. So how can a parent know when a child avoids meals all the time, when sleep pattern is, uh, is disturbed, and late into the night they are with their gadget in the room. So I constantly advise saying, don't allow that to happen. Plead with the child. Then they wake up in the morning angry, refusing to do what they should do. They often postpone uh, because they are high on dopamine. And then doctors may diagnose ADHD and put them on drugs, but we must first try non-pharmacological management. I am Dr. Lalit Mendis. I was the founding head of pharmacology in a state medical faculty. I have written about this, so if you send me a WhatsApp to uh, 0742115011, if you are overseas, plus 94472115011, uh, uh, I can send you some more clips and even literature. Uh, so uh, we want to get our kids out of this bottom-up regulation of survival, peril, thrill-seeking behavior. Parents need to recognize that thrill-seeking behavior. They will avoid conversation and they'll actionize themselves all the time. They will make new friends, give up old conservative friends, they will get into risk-taking perilous behavior, then you know they are not far away from even greater trouble, that they will 
cal take risk without calculation of safety of life. You need to detect it early. So I will send you a list of things that you can detect it if you would send me a WhatsApp to 0742115011. I have done many clips on this subject of digital screen and brain. I am Dr. Lalit Mendes. You can download my app WhatsApp. Uh, you can download my app Golden Nuggets on Google or App Store free of cost. So it's a help for parents or teachers to see risk-taking behavior turning worse from the symptoms they can easily look up. So I want to advise parents and teachers solution is not to quickly take uh, solution is not to insist on getting drugs for the problem because drugs will not settle the problem they will return to even more risky behavior as drugs rev them up so they have to have empathic motor therapy empathic learning therapy a long discussion and a conversation uh, with a therapist what is pushing them to this kind of behavior so parents are used to think a drug can solve the problem quickly and often they are unwilling to give the time necessary to manage the child's early issues. When I say child, the child may be 10 years or he may be 20 years. Parents have to manage those issues, learn to manage those issues as from school age to beyond, these problems are surfacing and causing harm, sorrow, heartache. So be aware. Uh, thank you for listening. Remedy is available. Parents and teachers must be educated. Running to the doctor in distress is not the way forward. Uh, thank you for listening.